Britain's minority population is not that minor anymore. An estimated 17% of Britain's population is of foreign origin. They were born outside Britain and that makes that vote substantial and it could make all the difference in a closely fought election where margins are narrow. No surprise therefore that we've had a dedicated Asian hustings in this election where leaders of all the major parties addressed Asian voters. The new parliament looks set to have many more Asian MPs. There are about 250 candidates this time of Asian origin, including Indians. But I think out of that, only 10 to 12 percent will win. So it will go up. I think it's probably going to go up by another 10 percent, uh, probably not more than that. London, yes. Um, I think some in Midlands as well. It's a vote that the parties are campaigning actively for. But certainly we think it's really important that that strong connection between the UK and India, uh, where we've got such an incredible diaspora, obviously, within the UK, that we really are proud of that. And also, you know, going beyond, I suppose, warm words, that we're making sure that we build that practical, strong relationship. So, you know, Labour's talked a lot about a strategic partnership with India. Obviously, that covers trade and, you know, I'm sure that the journalists would be interested in this. We're keen to ensure that we do have uh, that trade partnership in the future. You know, we'd really focus on making a reality of that. But we want to see cooperation in other areas as well. Indeed, the areas we've been talking about you know, around new technologies, the environment, security as well. Our relationship between the UK and, and India is critically important. Clearly, we have very strong historic and cultural ties, but there is so much to be done going forward. Obviously, we are negotiating a free trade agreement at the moment. I'm not privy to the exact details of the negotiation. Even if I were, I probably couldn't tell you exactly what is happening. There are, of course, pressing immediate issues of concern to all, minority or majority, such as rising crime. So we would recruit more police, first of all. We've seen numbers going through the floor. Now some more have been recruited, but not enough. We've set out plans to recruit 13,000 more police, exactly how we would pay for that as well. Secondly, when people are actually convicted, many of them are going to prison for a shorter amount of time than they would have done, or not going to jail at all because our prisons are overcrowded. The Conservatives have, of course, a different view of this. A huge campaign to save Notting Hill Police Station that the Labour Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, closed almost seven years ago and has just been lying empty. It's truly unacceptable. Labour is failing in London when it comes to crime. You look at knife crime, across the country it is down. In London it's up by more than 20%.